with Serena Williams, who is playing Indian Wells for the fourth time since she ended her 13-year hiatus from this tournament. Kind of a mixed bag from her in Australia. She looked so good beating Simona Halep and then held some match points against Pliskova. What do we make of where she is right now? You know, I think the thing with Serena is she is so good. It just takes one little skip step and she gets all her confidence back. The thing that worried me a little bit in Australia was very rarely do you see a great player that far ahead have a hiccup like that. So for her, I think this is a great opportunity to rebuild the confidence that she started down there because she was awesome at the beginning of the tournament in Australia. That was an injury-related accident in Australia as well. But here, look at her draw. She did not get cherry, cherry, Whoops. cherry on the slot Whoops. machine. Um, <laughs> if she wins here, she's going to uh, have to go through some landmines, uh, starting with two-time major champion Azarenka in potentially her first match. Yeah, no, this is a brutal draw. Keep in mind, it's not likely that all of those players will get through. They're just the favored players from, from a seeding standpoint to get through. But that is a murderer's row. I mean, that is as tough a draw as you're going to get. But if anyone's going to get through that type of player, it's Serena. Because when Serena's at her apex, I still think she's the best. So, so this is where she began her comeback from the maternity leave a year ago. She has made a couple of Grand Slam finals, but she has not won a title in the year since coming back. Is that a surprise to you? A little bit, but, you know, with great players, I tend not to worry. I don't believe so much that it's a it's an if, it's a when. Um, and she's playing so well that those uh, opponents look very difficult. But we forget to think of the other side of it. They're thinking, oh, I've got to get to and through Serena to get there. So I think she's going to get there. I just don't know if it's this week. I, I think she looked great. I mean, even in that practice video we just showed. I mean, she looks much different, much more fit than she did a year ago. I mean, Jim, you mentioned... Djokovic sparse schedule. I mean, Serena is really paired it back. I think wisely, necessarily so. So it's not as though she's had a ton of match play coming in here. On the one hand, she's fresh. On the other hand, I don't know what it does when you go this long, sometimes five, six weeks without playing a match. I don't know what that does to a player at this stage in their career. I think we can throw those things. I think you're right. For most normal players, that, that's a worry because players need momentum. You, you see a lot of players come back and want to play doubles to get going. But right. Now, I'm going to have to take this out because I'm getting too much feedback in my ear. But anyway, I think for Serena, what's important for her is just to feel good and feel healthy because when she's healthy and she's fit and she's focused, I mean, she, she's made finals of, of majors. She made the quarters. I mean, she has a lot of momentum. By the way, this is the 20th anniversary of the first time that Serena won this tournament in 1999. She beat Steffi Groff.